Hello and welcome to the Bible Talk Show. I am now going to introduce both of our wonderful guests today who have traveled all the way from the Middle East. Our guests today for the Old Testament portion of the show are Noah. Thank you for coming today. I'm going to be asking you some questions today. Let's start with Noah. Welcome, Noah. Noah has traveled far from the Middle East and was one of the earliest followers of Jesus. So, Noah, where were you born and what tribe were you? If you guys want to hear a fun fact, here it is. Did you guys know that Noah was actually one of the earliest followers of Jesus? He really was a true, passionate follower. And during his ark journey, he almost passed away because he was he was on the boat for 40 days and 40 nights. And he it took him a long time to build the ark. I was born in the Middle East. Actually, I was born a Jew. So Noah... I was just hearing, so I want to know, what are some of the lessons we can learn from your life? Like, tell us something really interesting that we can learn about your life. One of the lessons you can learn from my life is encouragement. Encouragement is one of the best ways to solve any problem in life. Thank you, Noah, for that wonderful talk about encouragement. It truly was very empowering. So how long did it really take you to build the ark? Because we all know it's a really long time, but we kind of want to know an exact amount. It took me 120 years to build the ark. Thank you so much, Noah, for those 120 years. You really saved us so the earth will never be flooded again. So, Noah, I was just wondering, what are some of your strengths? Like, we, we were really intrigued by your story. I was one of the first people to sell possessions to the Christians in Jerusalem. Also, I was the first to go with Paul on his missionary journey as a part of his team. Thank you so much, Noah, for all of that information. Just one more question, okay? We were just wondering, um, so what is one of your greatest mistakes in life? My first mistake was like Peter. I temporarily stay aloof from Gentile believers until Paul corrected. Thank you all for coming today. I'm going to be asking you guys some questions. Let us begin with Barnabas. We are now moving on to an advertisement and then the second portion of the show. Thank you guys. This is a wonderful shepherd's pole grip. It'll really help you get a good grip on your shepherd's pole. Thank you all so much. Thank you all so much for watching that wonderful advertisement about our shepherd's pole. It truly is amazing. It changes how you feel the staff and how it grips. Thank you all so much for watching it. And we are actually going to move on to our second portion of our show now. We're going to start with Barnabas, our, one of my favorite Bible characters. He truly is amazing. Thank you for having me on your show. Well, I'll be happy to answer any questions you have for me. Thank you so much, Barnabas, for that wonderful introduction. So the first question is, where were you born? And what tribe were you born into? Because we are really intrigued by that. I'm of the tribe of Levi, and I was born in an island called Cyprus. I was originally called Joseph, but the apostles began to call me Barnabas. So we were really wondering, which church did you really help find in the Middle East? Because we are really intrigued. I was the co-founder of the Church of Antioch, where the term Christians was first concepted. Thank you, Barnabas. That was amazing. We're moving along now, and I was just wondering, what are some of your strengths we really want to know? I sold my own land and other possessions to use the money to help the church and the community of Jerusalem. I introduced Paul to the other apostles when they still thought he was their enemy, and I was Paul's main partner in his early missionary activity. So Barnabas, we were really wondering, what is a weakness or a mistake of yours that you really want us to know about? Thank you, Barnabas. One mistake I made was believing the words of Sethas, that... Gentiles must be circumcised or else rejected until Paul corrected me and the others said us had led astray. So Barnabas, what are some truly interesting lessons we can learn about your life? Because we really want to become better people and better followers of Jesus just like you. One lesson you can learn is encouragement is one of the most effective ways to help in any situation. And our last question for you, Barnabas, is what is a Hellenized Jew? Can you really just describe it in detail to us? Thank you. A Hellenized Jew, like myself, is someone born into the Jewish tribe, but lives like a Greek would. 
Thank you all so much. This truly means so much to me. Thank you all for watching my show, watching the advertisement, and thank you all for staying on to learn about Noah and Barnabas. They truly are some really interesting Bible characters, and I really think that you should learn about them and really um, cherish them. We should all become better followers of Jesus just like them, including Noah, Noah's Ark. That was amazing. These are amazing stories that we have learned here today, like um, Noah and his encouragement and Barnabas being, um, selling all his possessions to become a better follower of Jesus. This is truly, truly amazing. We should, we should, I don't know if we should sell our, our possessions to be, to become better followers of Jesus, but we should definitely take some of the encouragement things and take his mistakes to heart and just, you know, like lean on them and really learn from his mistakes so that we can become better followers of Jesus and so that we can better follow Jesus.